Hi friends, uh, happy Friday. So excited that you're here this week for coffee date. If we were having coffee today, I would tell you, I got a haircut. <laughs> um, okay, that was probably really quirky. Please don't hit stop, please still join me for coffee. I'm super excited. I haven't gotten my hair cut and colored in a while. I was ready for a little bit of a change. Um, and so yeah. Yeah, made a change, went a little bit darker. I absolutely love the color. I'm having a ton of fun with it. And I heard about this amazing, like, transforming mousse. So I'm totally that take a shower, you know, mess up my hair and go kind of person. And this mousse is, like, incredible. This is day two hair, guys. Day two. I'm loving it. So I'm super excited about this mousse. I'll be sharing um, sharing about it with sharing it with you soon. Now I can't even talk because I'm so excited. Um, but it's super great for pulling curl uh, or beachy waves naturally out of your hair, which is my favorite way to wear my hair. So awesome. If we were having coffee today, I would tell you I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten path um, and maybe talk about something that may make me sound crazy or weird, but for most of you that follow me, you know that I'm both of those things, so it shouldn't really surprise you. Um, so I don't know about you guys, we have a four-year-old in our home, and conversations are getting a little bit interesting in our home with our four-year-old. There's a lot of words he likes to remind us that he knows he's not supposed to say, but it'll like slip him in there like, Mom, we're not supposed to say stupid, right? Right, dear, you're not allowed to say stupid. Okay, so no saying stupid. That's right, mom. No saying stupid. And I'm like, dude, buddy, you're like saying the, the word you're not supposed to over and over again. He's like, no, mom, I'm just telling you, you're not supposed to say the word stupid. So I'm like, okay, how many times can you possibly fit that word into a sentence to try and get it out of your system? You know, it's kind of like pyromaniacs. You take them outside and you make them light a whole box of matches. And by the end, you hope they're cured. So anyways, we have this thing going on where Brayden is trying to repeat these words, which I'm sure it could be worse than repeating the word stupid, um, or phrases like, what the heck, mom, or what the, what the, like, that's his new thing, and, um, and then telling us, but we're not supposed to say that. So I don't really know how to combat this, but it's definitely happening in our home. One other thing that's very much happening in our home with our four-year-old is that he's kind of got this obsession with an, people's anatomy. So his latest thing is reminding us that, you know, boys have a penis. Yes, I totally just said that. And girls have a JJ. That's what we call it in our home. Sorry to be so inappropriate. Um, so he's, you know, we'll have these conversations where we'll be talking about, you know, um, reading, getting, you know, reading a book or snuggling or, you know, just something really random. And he'll be like, Mom? I'm like, yeah, bud. So... Boys have a penis and girls have a JJ. And I'm like, yes, buddy, that's totally correct. You are right. But and, he, but, and then he'll follow up by saying, and nobody can touch it because it's a private place. And I'm like, yes, nobody can touch it because it's a private place. So at least we, we've got that kind of down pat. But I don't know about you, but is this like something that's just going on in my home? But he's got this complete obsession with anatomy. Okay, and as if as if having the conversation, you know, like we'll get into, um, we'll be standing next to someone on the escalator, and he'll be like, "Mom," I'm like, "Yeah," he'll be like, "That's a guy," and I'll be like, "Mm-hmm," and he'll be like, "He has a penis," and I'm like, "Yes, he does." As I'm like profusely apologizing to the man in front of us on the escalator, and he's of course thankfully laughing because Brayden's four. Um, but I think Brayden decided to take it one step further and he oftentimes in the afternoon he loves to draw pictures. So he was drawing this picture for daddy and he decided to take this picture to daddy which Kyle if you're watching I'm so sorry but I'm going to share this okay because it needs to be shared with the world. So Brayden draws this picture for daddy and he tells him <laughs> that this is a self portrait of daddy and do you want to guess what this is? You know you do. <laughs> so Brayden is like not only on this kick where he's talking about it, but now he's drawing it. And apparently it looks like a 
carrot stick. So anyways, I don't know if you guys are having this problem in your house and I don't really know how you're combating it, but today I would just really, really love some advice on um, whether you just laugh it off and ignore it or um, ask your kids not to talk about it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll report back next week on more information on this subject. But if we were having coffee today, what would you guys be telling me? Share me. Share with me your funny story so I feel so much better about the things that your kids say. All right. Well, that's it for me today. See you guys next week.